So, the time has finally came. This is the pack of 10 kgs of PLA plastic that I received a few weeks back. So I know I'm pretty damn late, but I have some important work to do. So now it's time to finish our project. Let me just roll the camera over there. So let's just complete it. So hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So let me just give you a little bit cinematic view of this whole thing. So now you can see our machine is almost ready, the filament extrusion system and one thing you have noticed, why is it looking something in weirdly like it just moving vertically, well, let me just give you a full view. So now you can see, yeah, I put this board vertically, as you can see here, because I want the help of gravity in order to push the filament, or you can say melted plastic from the nozzle towards straight to the down. But here are a few things still left that needed to be done. So I'm gonna do that those things in the today's video like put in an extruder here Normal 3d printing extruder that you see in your 3d printer and a cooling system It will be a water-based cooling system instead of like, you know Using a fan base it will be less complex and more better I would say and we are using the Arduino in order to control the stepper motor to push the filament so you can say we are using uh, Wi-Fi based actually Arduino because I have this one in in my house and then the RAMs 1.4 and then this display and you can see 12 volt power supply motor controller and I switched the wire in last video somebody told me that your, that your motor spinning opposite direction not toward direction whether it re that required to push the filament so I've switched the wire here so now it's completely done and but here still one thing needs to be done in order to like make it better few things uh, one thing is needed to done here like it just it just going like this so I can put the filament in this so I have created this 90 degree holder hopefully this will work which I highly doubt I think will go here then it will not pass through here so we'll see once we put it and in today's video will complete whole machine and this will be the last video on this so if you have any doubt comment down below I'll reply every single answer because there are not not much people on this channel so almost I have enough time to reply every single comment so I'm gonna put it here like this so first of all let me just remove this so now you can see I have removed this and so this is how it will look from inside let me just give you a clear view fully it visible now you can see now you're getting the whole view of inside so now it's time to put this thing here it's done and then the bottle I'll get a longer I mean I'll cut the whole two liter sprite bottle in order to put it like this so now you can see it's looking like this so let me just give you a wide angle view in order to get the full overview of this machine. So now you can see it like the and it cost me hundred dollars. So it is not very expensive. And if this is successful, then I'll upload every single thing and make a PDF of it so that every single guy who's watching this video can create this. So we're gonna test every single thing. I mean, we're gonna test this machine in today's video. So let's just do that. So this is our cooling system. You can see here, these are the roller. These will be like this. So it can filament, or you can say the extruded filament to inside the water for some time until it's cooled down. So I have given this much amount of distance between these holes and one roller over here. So it can, it can like go like this from here, then straight up from these roller to the extruder. Uh, it will be a smooth transition. So let me. So you can see it's completely done on roller are fin spinning a little tightly because of the glue but the circuit will not be a problem you can see it's spinning properly and now it's done so we're gonna fill this water till here and the filament will gonna get in from here then go straight like this like this and then it will gonna come from here so this is the whole thing so now you can see it's completely done over here so you can see in, I've sticked this thing with the glue and it's completely done almost and now it's time to test this machine and see whether it's gonna work or not the time of justice I say the time of testing has came as there is a problem in the code that's why my extruder was not working so I rewrite the code and right now I'm trying to upload it here you can see Arduino is working it's connected to my laptop so the extruder is finally started working actually the prevent cold extrusion was option was enabled so i was just switch it off and now it's working completely fine i would say so now it's time to produce some filament i think the first trial didn't gone well but 
Actually, it's creating a lot of smoke. I think there's a lot of dust inside it. And actually, the... F I mean, <coughs> I can't even speak. I have to, like, put it outside of my room. Otherwise, my room will get toxic. So, the problem was that the filament... I mean, the pellets were unable to go inside properly because of that 90 degree angle like this. So, now I'm, I'm going to go on my laptop and design the new one in order to make it work. So guys, I tried every single design but the problem was very very structure in this. The wood piece was very thin because of that the, the heatness from this pipe, this steel pipe comes to the wood and then it melts the, uh, the pellet holder because, uh, and then it melts. So it was not working properly and also there was a little problem with the gears actually but it, it is fixable with just tried putting some metal screws instead of this plastic one and here I need to change this wood piece I believe or I have to make this barrel more longer and this is what we got in I mean this is what we got at end I raised the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius in order to make it work and this is what we got I mean it's looking cool it's full of PLA and rust and this is the new kind of holder that I came up with you can see and it was like this and it was like this and you can uh, fill uh, pellets from here but as you can see it, what happened to this it got literally melted so I have to change this wood piece which will take me time and also this barrel make it I think I have to make it a little bit longer also the auger because of that so I don't I, I never expected this video will be and on failure but anyways failure needs to be published especially in 3d printing community but it's just a way i'm trying to like cover up this video with a failure but anyways guys next part you will get the result and definite result with a fully functioning machine so till then subscribe like this video and thanks for watching